Ray, we the real Hebrews with lights. Coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this present temporal evil world. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Mahashem, Yahweh Shai, Mahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you Akim, pushing this word and truth and sincerity. All right. So out here another week, man, you know, uh, to warn our people, to plead to our people. Right. Um, just did a lesson called Return. Return so that uh, we might uh, uh, be partakers of uh, his holiness, of the Most High's holiness. That was the whole point of this present temple evil world, to perfect his special chosen children for what the ultimate purpose of the Father is, which is the kingdom of heaven, his kingdom. That's See? right. So the prophets are here, man, to warn you of the down of this place and all of the mindsets of this world all right and the coming of our lord and savior to set up the eternal righteous kingdom man so we as the special chosen children the israelites which are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and even what the scriptures call the speckled bird are the israelites that stem from abraham isaac and jacob who happen to have the appearance of looking like one of the Gentile heathen nations where we, uh, our people were scattered. Because right. our people were scattered all over the world, all right? And so this message is to those who stem from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Which are you uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? But again, you have some Israelites right now who have the appearance of looking like another nation. But if you can hear this message, you can receive this message all right and apply to the best of your ability and endure to the end you are indeed an israelite you got something yeah all right this is uh Je jeremiah 3 and 22 return ye backsliding children and i will heal your backsliding you see he said return oh ye backsliding children so there's a particular people who are these children who backslid all right from a way that was given to them you see they were given a particular way and that way was uh a, 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 the only righteous divine god-given way and it says behold we so like behold we come unto thee for thou art the lord yahweh our power truly in vain is salvation hope for from the hills and from the multitude of the mountains Truly in the Lord Yahweh, our power is the salvation of Israel. See, in the word of God, in Yahweh is the salvation of Israel. Not these heathen nations, all right? No other mindset, all right? No uh, uh, other book, no other interpretation, but the one true interpretation of the word of God, all right, that stem from the mind of the creator, the most high God, Yahweh, all right? That's, that's our way, man. And we have to return to that way. Uh, could you jump up to verse 14 yeah. in that same verse? This is our... Uh, uh, chapter, but hold up. Mm -hmm. that, and then we're going to go to that. Go it's, ahead. This Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 1. Read. If thou wilt return, O Israel, saith Yahweh. If thou wilt return, my people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? And again, even those who may have the appearance of looking like another nation, but you can hear this message, receive it, all right? You're an Israelite, man, and return to the mindset of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is his will, his righteousness, his way, his order, his purpose, right? Let's go ahead. It says, if thou will return, O Israel, say of Yahweh, return unto me. <laughs> if you go return, return unto me. You see, return unto me. Get up out of your own way. Get up out of a carnal mindset. Get up, up out of a mindset of this present temporal evil world and it continuing on. Get up out of that, right? This Jeremiah 4 and 1, if thou will return, O Israel, saith Yahweh, return unto me. And if thou will put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. Yep. 
see and that's the thing we wind up veering off the path all right that the most high gave us our way which was a righteous way all right we veered off that path that's right into all uh, 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 abominable paths you see that uh, 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 you know that it was things that was contrary all right to the righteousness of the most high god and those are uh, what happened we that's what we did all right uh let's get that that's uh, actually uh verse two yeah wherever you want to uh, this is uh jeremiah chapter 3 verse 12. yep go and proclaim these words towards the north and say return the backsliding Israel. And that's what we're saying right now to our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You Israelites, man. Return. Return. Go ahead. It says, Say the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. See, if you return, then he'll cause his anger not to fall upon you, man. You'll get caught up in mercy. All right, if you return, you'll get caught up ultimately in mercy as opposed to being caught up in his wrath because you did return. What you got, brother? It is. Oh, let, 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 I'll come right back. It's Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 1. It's like it. It's Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. It's in the NLT. It says, gather together. Yes, gather together, you shameless nation. Gather before judgment begins. Damn. Oh. Yeah, hey, gather <laughs> before <laughs> judgment begins. You know, me and uh, uh, my bro, the elder Uriah, we always talk about, hey, just like uh, in Indiana Jones, boy, he'd it, 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 be running and sliding, and that door would be shut, and then he would slide right on, right before it, uh, you know, right before <laughs> that door shut, and then even have time to grab his hat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Safe! Boom! And then as soon as he grabbed that hat, it was like, boom! You know what I'm saying? Because once that door of repentance shut, shit, that's it. That's yep. it! Hey, just like they were knocking boom, on the uh, uh, on the, the, arc. the arc. Boom! You know boom, what I'm boom. saying? When that door shut, that was it, man. They were knocking on that door, and, and, and Moses, he, he had the heart to, hey, if he could have, he would have probably opened it. But it was the Lord yes, who shut it. Yep. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? So that was it. Everybody that was on the outside of that ark, judge. You see? But he, Noah had been telling them. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Years. It's, it's been a rain. He, he built an ark. Hey, this hey. judgment is coming. It's coming. And, and why is it coming? For all the abominable ways. For all the carnal ways. For all the unrighteous ways. That's why it's coming. You got something too? All right, we got a line. I got a line. I got something too. You know what I'm saying? You got it something too? Okay, we in line. We in line. Five way, we gonna fire them off. You know what I'm saying? All three of them. All three of them. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead. Give me a lot of rest. Multiple hugs and rockets in the wheel. Let's go, baby. This is Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 2. Gather before judgment begins. Before your time to repent is blown away like chaff. Oh. Wait a minute! Shots fired! No, yeah. I'm playing. That's what it is, though. Take cover. Man, read it again from the top, brother. Yes, sir. This is Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Woo. Gather together, yes, gather together, you shameless nation. Man. Gather before judgment begins. Gather before judgment begins. And he said, hey, return unto me. Gather unto me. Go ahead before judgment begins, man, because judgment is a coming. Yep. The rain is a coming. But this time it's going to be rain of fire. You know what I'm saying? Whether you believe it or not, man. Go ahead. It says, before your time to repent is blown away like chaff. Before Ooh. your time to repent is blown away like chaff. The, the, the time to repent is now. That's right. <laughs> because soon the time to repent is going to be blown away. Like that. I mean, gone. Just, yeah. Gone. And then it's time for judgment. That's and right. you're going to get caught up in it, man. So here it is right now. The prophets are here right now, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. Go ahead. 
act now before the fierce fury wow. of Yahweh falls and the terrible day of Yahweh's anger begins. That's right. Act now. Yes. He said when he comes that he got to find you so doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It active in the faith. Active. Proving that you about his righteousness, you about his will, you about his purpose, and it start with changing your mind. You see? And so you gotta be active, man, before the time of judgment come, man. Because it's really here, but it, it, the time of judgment is gonna just continue to heighten all the way up until that very day of the great judgment. That's right. That's what right. Say, uh, uh, what, seek the Lord while he may be found. Yep. Right, uh, uh, was it that uh, Sirach 5 and 7, uh, make no tearing to turn to the Lord? Yep. Yeah. All right. Because look, hey, when you think, you know, hey, everything's all cool, you know, peaches and cream, that's when the Lord is going to come back, man. Yeah. All right. And we're seeing a lot of uh, judgment, you know, go forth, man. You're starting to hear about a lot of uh, dropouts and stalkers being put to death. Yeah. All right. Hey, you see what's going on in the Middle East? What's happening here in the U.S. with all these migrants and mass shootings? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. things are, are, are speeding up, man. These are signs of the time. Yeah. And like you said, seek the Lord why he may be, be found. found. Well, that denotes that there's a time where he won't be found. That's exactly. right. He says, seek the Lord why he may be found, letting you know there's a time where he won't be found when you're going to be looking for him. That's right. You're going to be looking for him. And then you're going to be looking for him for a, a, a real good reason, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be too late, though. But it's going to be too late, man. That's right. See, it's it's right now when the, the scriptures, like uh, uh, that second entrance, chapter 9, it says, when yet the, uh, the, the, the place of repentance was open unto them, well, they decided. That's right. They rejected. Didn't want to hear it. <laughs> All right? Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 3 in the NLT, it says, Seek the Lord, all who are humble and follow his commandments. Who all that are humble, all right, and humble themselves to the will of the Father, right. to his righteousness, wow. to his plan to perfect us. Wow. And part of the plan to perfect us comes with suffering. Yeah. And we got to trust in that. And so we got to roll with the suffering. That's right. right. See? We'll go ahead. Seek to do what is right. <laughs> Seek to do what is right. He got the copyright on what right is. Yeah, he got the blueprint on that. So we have to seek what the most high calls righteousness. All right, and practice in her. Go ahead. And to live humbly. Oh, and to live humbly, go ahead. Perhaps even yet the Lord will protect you. Wow. Protect you from his anger on that day of destruction. Wow, you see? To protect you on that day of destruction, man. Because it's going to be like a day never before. That's right. Never before. It says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of, of teeth. teeth. It says, dwelling Amen. in torments. Dwelling in torments man not just a quick you out of there no dwelling in torments man man the lord is not playing not at all now not at all he said reptilian oh wow. like a witch yes wow. sir that yes that sir is. so That's hey if this is the plea hear the message receive the message you see return Return to our way, all right? Yes, sir. My daily prayer, God protect me and deliver me from this wicked, evil world. This is Ephesians 4 and 28, and it reads, <laughs> Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give that demon. That's hey. my charity, yo. Yeah, hey, and it talks about a work that is unfruitful, all right? A, a, a labor that's unprofitable. That's right. Right? And that's the, all the mindsets of this world. That's right. All right? 
So we have to labor and, and, and serve, be in service, all right, for the most highest business. Yes, sir. For the most highest enterprise, man. You know? And that's, again, a part of showing that we own his team. Right. All right, we're producing what he say righteousness is. Right. You see, and, and, and the only way that we can produce it is if we one of the called and chosen. Right. All right, that he gives that power to, man. All right, but the point is, is that you got to be in production. Right. You got to be active and, and proving your faith, man. The receipts got to be there. That's right. You know, <laughs> what you got, bro? Hey, this is the book of Jeremiah uh, chapter 50. Speak, speak up. Hey, yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have called them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Yep, that's what happened, man. We've forgotten our resting place, man. All right. And here it is, you know, all the 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 uh, the, the false prophets. All right. The false teachers were, were, were getting lauded. All right. We're getting reverence. You were giving heed to those that were about the enemy's enterprise. All right. The enemy's business. That's right. You see, because this present temple world was given over unto the hands of the wicked was given over unto these heathens this is where they have their inheritance you see so if anybody is trying to prosper and flourish with them all right well they ain't right that's right you said they selected you said they being reverend you me that nigga from house of house of no hope reverend yeah all fucking ten thousand people going this nigga telling you what they did yep they yep. reverend him and shit that's it that's what they do to those uh, 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 false teachers, those false preachers, those false pastors, those false prophets who are flourishing in this world. You see, they got the... I was going to say, because they teach them those lies, those receipts, people, yeah. you know, the, the feel-good words, you know? Exactly. All right, and basically, they don't hold them accountable for their actions. Exactly. Hey, they're just like Esau, basically giving them a license to sin, so to speak. Yeah. All right? And that's what these people want, because they don't want to uh, control their flesh, you know? Hey, they want to do whatever they want to do. Get that Isaiah, somebody. Uh, go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah 39. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 38. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book, that it may be for, a, for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people Lying children, Woo! children that will not hear the law of the Most High. See, this is a rebellious people, a lying children, all right? Talking about our people, the Israelites, man. A rebellious people, all right, that rebels against the Most High God, our Father, the Creator, and rebels against the righteous way of life that He gave us, man. So if we rebel against life, well, then we rolling with death. And it. that's what happened. All right? I got y'all. I got y'all. Yep. Uh, uh, go, go ahead. It's Isaiah 30 and 10. Which say to the seer, see not. So the, the, the people say to the real prophets, all right, the real seers, all right, see not. Don't tell us the actual truth of what you see from God. Go ahead. Prophesy not unto us right things. See, they don't want to hear right things. They don't want to hear uh, 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 the truth, all right? Because the truth come with accountability, all right? The truth come with uh, 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 before honor is humility. That's right. All right? The truth come with balance. The, cru the truth coming with crawling before you walk. All right, the truth come with uh, uh, going through the dangerous place to fall before you can get your inheritance. The truth comes with going to the gym first before you get the sculpted body. That's right. You see? And so people, they don't like the truth because they don't want to go through that stuff. All right, uh, Job, he told his wife, man, like, man, should we not receive 
you know, the, 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 the you know, should we receive the good of the most high and not, not the bad the, that's too? That's right. So we can experience it? So we can know it? So we can partake in the most high's holiness? You see? But go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna just start at the top of 10. Yeah. It's Isaiah 30 and 10. We say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us small things. Prophesy deceits. You see, prophesy deceits. That's what our people want to hear. So they can just do whatever they want to do according to the lust of their own flesh. Whatever doctrine sounds right to them. See, doctrine got to adjust to them. You don't adjust to the uh, 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 the Most High's doctrine. No, uh, uh, uh. The Most High's doctrine got to adjust to you. Because, well, really. you know, the, the Lord says that we're his women, right? He right. talks about spiritual fornication. Our people have been uh, uh, on that carousel. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, oh, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spiritually speaking. Right. Hey, this feels good at this moment. Yeah. Hey, oh, well, I'm into this right now. Yeah. And then you just keep bouncing around, man. Yeah. Being little little spiritual horse, basically. That's it. That's it. What you got, brother? I was actually going to... Uh, uh, elaborate on what he just said you know when the, when the term got to me but he spoke on it now because uh, um, that's why the scripture calls us a uh, the Lord calls us a nation of whoredoms speak up that's why the, the Lord called uh, the Israelites a nation of whoredoms because our people went pouring on the Lord they, they cheated on the Lord exactly. basically exactly. and they and they love to do it too yeah because, well, this because many times the, uh, the, the the scriptures liken us, the Israelites, into, into the wife of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So go ahead. It's Jeremiah 3 and 1. It says, they say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he shall he return unto her again? Because the law says that if a man put away his wife and she go with another guy, you can't, you can't take her back no more. That's the file. But the case with Israel and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is that we played the harlot. Exactly. He didn't uh, uh, necessarily uh, do that to us. Right. Even though he chastised us mm -hmm. for a time. Yeah. But we were the ones that, that broke that part of the contract. Exactly. Well, we forsook him. Yeah. And so then he forsook us. But go ahead. It says, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? And our people are polluted with the ways of this world. Yep, Ooh. corrupted with car carnal ways, man. Yep, go ahead. But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. And that's one of the big points he's talking about. It's about the converting, the, the coming back, the return. That's it. The submitting to the way of the Lord. That's it. And, and, and that is what we elect all right, of the nation of Israel, those who slayed it for salvation, all right, that's what they're gonna do. All right, they're gonna, like the scripture says, follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man. All right, and return, because even the elect had veered off the path. All right, even the elect had, had got sullied, all right, filthy, unclean with the ways of carnality, man. All right, the ways of this world. But the elect is going to return and, and be cleansed by the word. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's just like the, we've been prophesizing. The elder been saying, you know, he just brought that scripture out. He say, repent before it's too late. Right? Because the mercy hand is going in real fast, you know. And you ain't got too much time left. You know what I'm saying? So you better repent, man. Because this world produces nothing but wickedness, nothing but evil, nothing but nothing good comes out of it. The only thing you can expect from this temporal present day evil world is death. That's okay? It. That's, That's it. all you got coming. That's it. This is Proverbs 4, okay? And I started, and I started 4. It says, But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you, this day. See, if you hold on to these laws, statutes, and commandments, are you held for Hashem? I was shot. You're gonna live, okay? It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which ye shall hear all these statutes 
and say, surely this is a great nation. Wow. It's a wise and understanding people. See, these he, uh, the heathen nations, the Gentile nations, man, they were wooed at our way. They always wooed at what we do. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right now, this present day. Yeah, they wooed at our, you know, abilities. You see? And so here it is, they were wooed at our way that the Most High gave us, man. And here it is, we were wooed at their way. Right. You know? <laughs> you see? We, they were wooed at a, 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 a spiritual superior way, and we were wooed at a, 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 a carnal, way. right, a, 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 a carnal a, a death style That's way. That's right. We were wooed at that. So that's holding on to this here. Exactly. We start taking on these traditions, customs, of this bullshit, man. Right. You know why? Because the ways of this world, the ways of carnality, it got time to have a little power and a little sway. Because this is where the heathens got their inheritance, man. You see? But we should want no part in their inheritance. We shouldn't want a, a, a like I always say, a portion of white's only power. That's right. No, we have our own portion coming. You see? And it's the greatest portion of all. That's right. But we just had to earn our portion. So we had to wait patiently for our portion. And while we wait patiently for our portion, we going through a process of being purified and perfected. You see? But if you're not having that mindset, well then you're not being purified and perfected. So then the only way that you can be purified and perfected now is the wrath of the Lord. That's right. You gotta, you gotta go, uh, you gotta get the beating, man. You gotta get the uh, humiliation process. You know, you gotta go through the humiliation and the, and the beating, man. You know, you gotta go through the straight gate, man. You know, and you know, the gates are, you know, the, 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 the scriptures even liken the leader on the gates, man. But when you go to the, the leaders, when you go to the army, you ask for to prepare your soul for temptation. So you go get beat up, man. Yeah. That's all a part of the trial of your faith. There's obstacles. There's pitfalls. There's traps. You know, there's holes, ditches. You know, there's <clears throat> things that look alluring, but it actually bites you. You see what I'm saying? There's all these things, you know what I'm saying, to where you're going to go through these trials, tribulations, temptations, persecutions. Ill, all right, all these things, all right, this is a part of it, but we got to keep faith. That's right. We got to keep integrity. We got to be, you know, doing what the most high say is right, although we trapped in something that want to do everything opposite. You see, this is again, all of a part of the most high proving a friend. Hey, that, uh, Imagine somebody pouring you the most bitter drink on earth, you know, but you still got to sit there, look, you got to sit right here in this stool, in the bar, for the pull you up, and you got to sit there drinking, and you can't be offended, man. Dregs and all. You got to drink the dregs, man. So you're going to drink it, and it's going to be a, it's going to, you're going to be looking like this, like, Yeah. No, you're going to be, oh. Right. Bro, you're going to be, man, you're going to be, oh, it makes me think about the bitter herbs, you know. Uh, on the pass uh, right? Oh, exactly. Yeah. You know, all the brothers be in the back. Ah, right. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Bro, and that's what it is. And you know, that has it. Purpose that's too. it. Got to. Yep. Yep. Sit, sit do her, you know. Yeah. Because again, that's a part of it, the, 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 the the wisdom of the Most High God, in that it's balanced, and that we have to experience the bitter. You know, because here it is. We're gonna have the sweet for forever. See, and the sweet part about it is that we're the special chosen children. We have the special chosen way, the superior way, that ultimately is going to promote us to be the royal rulers of all existence for forever. Right. That's sweet right there. Yes, sir. See, but we had to go through the bitter, all right, so we can experience it and know what that produces. You see, we had to experience it, man. Um, what you get, brother? Oh, it's a lot. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Jeremiah 3. I'm going to start at 12 again. Go and proclaim these words towards the north and say, 
were turned, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Yahweh. And I will and not cause my anger to fall upon you. That that, but it's a contingency right there. That's if. I will not cause my anger to fall upon you if. I'm gonna get into it. Go ahead. And I will not keep. And I will not keep anger anger forever. See, oh. see the, 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 the modern day Christians, you know, modern day uh, 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 plantation Christianity. See, they think that, oh, well, Jesus died for, for my sins, so now I can just do whatever I want to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The law is done away with. Yeah. Now I can eat whatever I want to eat. I can be whatever I want to be. I can, I can do, do whatever, whatever I want to do. do. <laughs> you know, because he died for my sins, so now it's whatever. No, that's not the case. See, that's not the case. We still have to rehearse righteousness, man. Hey, it's like, it's like, what if I told you he died so you wouldn't do that shit? <laughs> man, bro. You know, because at the end of the day, all right, cool. We, we all in, uh, in sin and falling short of the glory that's of God. Right, that's but right. But now, through what our Lord and Savior did, well, we have a grace period. All right, and part of the definition of grace is to regenerate. All right, regenerate. All right, is to constitute again. Constitute is to establish laws. What laws are we gonna establish? Our own or the Most High? The Most High, He know best, cause He the Most High. So whatever He say, hey, do and don't do on the planet Earth. That's the law I want to follow. That's, That's right. the set of rules and regulations I want to follow. That's the standard. That's the standard. That's what's right and wrong. Yeah. Well, that is where if you follow the standard, follow what he say, then you live forever. That's right. Because the wages of sin is death. Yeah. Sin is the transgression of the law. The law of the most high God, the divine law. He said, if you transgress what he say do and don't do, well then, the wages of that, the, what you get paid, is death. So if you don't transgress the law, then you don't die. Now, all transgress the law down here because we are in this sinful flesh. All right, so we all have. But what mindset do you want to have that, oh, the law of life, the law of righteousness is just done away with. So motherfuckers just give, just do whatever they want and it's total chaos, chaos. Or have the mindset of, well, I know that the scripture says of us Israelites, well, we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding where if we could exact it, we'd live forever. Right. But right now, the scripture says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. All right, in earthen vessels, and these earthen vessels that are susceptible to sin. All right, this was a part of the experience, the trial that we had to go through. All right, to, because he said, hey, uh, you know, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. That's right. Because I'm going to put you in one of those bodies that's susceptible to sin. And that's, I'm putting you in there for a temporary time. And you're gonna go through that lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime until the mission is complete. All right? And it was all for your learning to be purified and perfected, all right? To partake in his holiness, man. That's what it's all about. See, but we have to understand that we have to return, all right, to this mindset. Because that's what it's all about, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, only acknowledge, because you mentioned that the, the, you got to uh, do a particular thing, right? It says, only acknowledge thy iniquity. Basically, a uh, 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 man up to it, all right? right? Hey, that you were at fault. Right. Hey, deal with the accountability. Because if you don't man up to it, then you don't think you did nothing wrong. Yep. The the day. Yeah. If you don't think you did nothing wrong, then you'll continue in that particular thing. That's right. That the most high say is wrong. But you'll continue in it because you don't see that it's wrong. 
I've been eating pork all my life. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I was Nine, raised. Nine years old. Oh, pork. Before <laughs> breast went in my mouth. <laughs> Bacon, egg, and before, before the titty, nigga. Before the titty. Yeah, it was a pig titty. <laughs> 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 nigga had a drinking pig milk, nigga. <laughs> before, before. Oh, bro, <laughs> yeah. I, nigga, I can see a nigga. Right, saying, I right. A story. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Shit. Yep. And then they're justified, like, nigga. I'm still alive, nigga. Yeah, right. But you got gout and you fucking. Uh, right. Half attention. Yeah, he went through the poison ivy. It just happened one time to not eat poison. <laughs> <laughs> now you just gonna swallow it. Right, it's not bad. Nigga don't even run a little bit. That's just in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga can't even run 25% of the block. But, but, but he healthy. Right. You got all kind of fucking, what do you call that shit? Blubber to the fat. Blubber, the shit that gets in your uh, artery. Oh, uh, oh, uh, it clogs your arteries. Saturated fat, yeah, 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 all yeah. that fucking saturated fat. That's that lard, man. And then, and then your fucking heart stopped. My, I got an uncle, man. My uncle died frying chicken. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was, the nigga was, the nigga was in the act of frying the chicken, man. And they just grabbed his chest. I wasn't there. I was just imagine how it happened because that's what they found him. Frying. <laughs> and the nigga was dead yeah. right by the fried chicken like you know what I'm saying like you know but I mean you you 50 some years old common sense to tell you nigga throw some greens in your diet man <laughs> hey the scriptures tell you that man hey the, the apostles how many uh, uh lessons the apostles have done on um and you got uh, brothers I know you do uh Oh, yeah, the, uh, the help okay. videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, this, this, this scripture says we are thoroughly manifesting all things, man. It's not a brother in the, in, in the great millstone that you can't go. It's a brother in the great millstone that probably know how to build a plane, man. Okay? You can ask any, it's a brother you can ask about anything, man. Yeah. Why? Because man, our life is still in three verses, man. And it shows you how to uh, you know, get rich about the herbs and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because yeah, because it, it, this is the body, all right. Oh, yeah, how about you know what I'm saying? And he's doled out the abilities, all right, the different talents. Okay. See, but uh, let's go back to that. Uh, back in uh, Jeremiah chapter three, verse thirteen, and it reads, "Only acknowledge thy iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, thy power, and hast scattered." thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Hey, see, you gotta acknowledge that when we lean to our own understanding, when we establish our own righteousness, we gotta uh, 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 acknowledge that it didn't work, man. We got You gotta acknowledge black culture, it didn't work. You know, you gotta acknowledge, man, that, you know, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, you know, it didn't work. It's a failed science project, basically. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a project that Esau designed for you, uh, uh, Jenks, man. Yeah. All right. That's why. They, that's why they call them what? The projects. projects. Yep. All right. You know. Yep. See, all the mindsets of this world and prospering with this world and this world, you know, getting better, it don't work because that's not the will of the Father. That's right, El. The will of the Father is that He gave wickedness its time. Sure. Like He did. Righteousness, it's eternity. Perfect. You know? So, stop. You doing it right? I mean, I mean, I ain't using it now. That's what I'm <laughs> Right? You know what I'm saying? You doing it right. Keep going. Hey, so that's what the kingdom's gonna be, man. You know, it's gonna be good. <laughs> that's it. See, that's it. That's why the Most High set the eternal one up as eternal because it's the righteous one. It's where the the, what the most high say righteousness is is going to be the order of the day all over the world for forever so that's going to be the perfect righteous kingdom because it's ran with the divine laws all right the divine way and that divine way was given to us somebody real quick could you get a, a baruch chapter 3 verse 35 Real quick, and then we're gonna go right back to that. Real quick, Elder. Yep. Maybe Jake don't realize just because he does that thou wilt do, don't mean there ain't consequences or repercussions 
doing as thou wilt. So, you know, being in Babylon, you are your man. This is the land of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, no, this, this is part of uh, the, the, the Lord's will is that, well, he allows creation to do them so you can see the consequences of doing you. This is all a part of us learning. When you do you, you ultimately, you, you're sick, you know, you, and then ultimately, of course, just death. That's when you do you. But when you do the most high God, the Ooh, creator. Yes, sir. Well, then that's when you in health. That's when you in wealth. That's why when you even in stealth. That's right. Ah! You, you see what I'm saying? Because you're going to have the power, man. Yes, sir. That, that's what the, 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 the righteousness of the Father come with. All right. Spiritual power. Yes, that's right. Spiritual power. What you got? Three. This, I got the root for you. This Baruch chapter 3 and verse 35. This is our God, and there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. See, all these heathen nations, they talk about their God that they have. Well, they God ain't shit. That's right. <laughs> so much so, they don't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> they only exist in the mind of the heathen nation. That's right. If I may say, uh, earlier you were saying how uh, we were envious or jealous of the other people's way, yeah. and they was jealous of our way, which was Yahweh Shai's way, the better way. Exactly. And I was thinking in my head that, like, what's even worse is that God's not even real. Exactly. When we did it, the Lord said something. Exactly. Like, it says, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 12, it says, Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the wow. fountain of living waters, wow. and hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Broken cisterns that can hold no water, man. <laughs> That's why Jake's always thirsty, bro. We're yeah. All hopping from, you know, uh, yep. uh, 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 hill yep. to hill, mountain to mountain, as the scriptures say. That's yep. why, uh, what does it say? Uh, Yahweh Shai said it's, uh, uh, if you come to me, you shall thirst no more. Right. right. And, and that's you know? what it's all about in this world. You continuing to chase a high. When you done with this one high and you done it, you know what I'm saying? Then it's just like you're, you're not satisfied. You want more of something else. I want to do this. I want to do that. No. When you're about the word of the most high God, man. He said, you shall thirst no more, man. You on a, a, a natural high for forever, man. Freaky, 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 bro. Yeah. Like, it's time, bro. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. This, this Proverbs chapter five and verse 15. Drink waters out of thy own cistern. See, drink yeah. waters out of thine own cistern. You see, the Most High gave us our own cistern. And we should be drinking out of our own cistern because, hey, the water's out of our cistern is far superior than the cisterns of these heathen nations and the mindsets of carnality, the mindsets of this world. No, no, no. We have our own cistern, which is the mindset of the divine, the powerful one. <laughs> the I most may, high God. Uh, yep. I just want to land back off what the elder saying. I just gave you that Deuteronomy 4 where he gave us our own set of laws, yeah. our own set of statutes. Exactly. And we wooed the nations with it, exactly. but instead of us holding on to it, we suck these traditional and customs of this temple present day evil world and fell off. Like, like, like your dad just said, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Psalms 96 and 5 say all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens and the earth. Right. And this is the God we serve, the true and living God. That's it. I just right. want to land back off what the elder was saying. That's it. That's it. It reminds me of the, uh, that movie. Uh, movie. Oh, it was like, uh, it was like an accident. Yeah. And uh, when they were basically facing Roman, man, you got to clown out all the damn gods. Right. You ever watch that cartoon, though? 
to have a little power, a little influence. You know, they kept the lie alive. Like 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 like, like Tommy and, and, and Martin. They, 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 kept, they kept the lie alive. <laughs> what you got, brother, real quick? Okay, right back. This is the book of Proverbs, here, chapter 14, verse 12. Come over here, come over here. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yep. Right? There's, hey, it says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Why? Because that way may have some good direction. All right, it may have some good tendency. You see, but for to reach the destination, to reach the destination, the destination of life everlasting, to reach the destination of righteousness and immortality. Well, that's a specific direction where you gotta have 100% right direction one wrong direction, then you off the path of immortality. That's right. You know what they say. Hey, that wrong direction may be a very pleasant ass way, right? It's wrong as fuck, but right. you ran to a, so you ran to a coffee shop. Right. You know, you probably got a bitch of them. Right. It was a nice neighborhood. Right. But as you kept going, yeah. what scripture says, right. they saw right. 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 that hasten after another guy. So as you were going yeah. down that path, shit got weird, man. Uh, yeah. Like a Freddy Krueger movie, man. Hey, but at first it was real alluring. Yeah. You know, it's just like that fire to a baby. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like a baby. Right. right. Oh, yeah. that be, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and then man. they was going closer to it. It was like, oh, they were right. getting excited. Oh, they just get, but it, you know, it got up in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It got mad. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you burn yourself, you know? Hey, it reminds me of those Freddy Krueger movies, right. man. They be thinking it's all nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. My grandma's fat. Grandma! Oh my god, the whole family nice and shit. Everything going straight. Next thing you know, motherfucker, spider crawl across this bitch face and shit. Blood come out the faucet and shit, you know what I'm saying? Fucking walls get all the cage. Next thing you know, you for hell, man. That's it. Go ahead, brother. This brother is chapter 5 in verse. Oh, but, uh, but uh, uh, that's the thing. There was a way that seemed right unto a man. All right, and it seemed right because it, you know, seemed like, hey, these things are good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pro you're prospering. You know what I'm saying? I'm being blessed. You know what I'm saying? And so you, you think that, hey, this is a good thing that you're in. It sounds good. Hey, everybody's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing it. Everybody in it, involved. You know what I'm saying? They believe in it. So it seemed right. But the scripture says, the end thereof are the ways of death. Because it's not the way of the most high God. 100% completely, man. That's what we gotta be about, man. The most high's way. That's why he said, rend your heart and not your son, man. Don't lean to your own understanding, man. We have to roll with the understanding of the most high God. This Proverbs 5 and 15. It says, drink waters out of thy own cistern and running waters out of thy own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of water in the streets. Let them be only thy own and not strangers with thee. See, let them be only thy own. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This is our way. Just like, hey, when your, your, your father, all right, leaves an inheritance to his children, well, it's not for uh, 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 Miss Jones' children down the street. All right? It's not for Mr. Jenkins' uh, uh, children up the way. No, it's for this particular father and his children. All right? It says the gods of the nations are idols. 
Right. All right. The scripture says, blessed is the nation whose God is Yahweh. And the nation whose God is Yahweh is us, the Israelites. And we have our own inheritance. That's right. And it's not the inheritance of nobody else. We didn't get an inheritance with theirs. That's right. As a matter of fact, somebody read that real quick. Second uh, Edris chapter 6 verse, uh, what's that, 58 or 59? Somebody, whoever get it real quick. It says the great gulf is fixed. No, second Edris chapter 6 verse 59. Second Edris 6 and 59. Okay. It says, if the world now be made for our sakes. If the world now be made for our sakes, us, the special chosen children, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, if the world be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Why do we not possess an inheritance? Micah 2 and 10, real quick. Why do we not possess an inheritance with this present temporal evil world? Why do we not possess an inheritance with it? Well, because this is the place where we are in school. All right, this is the place where we are in training. This is the place where in Hebrews he said, uh, uh, we are as uh, strangers and pilgrims on the earth. You see, our citizenship is in the heavens. We're not a citizen of this present temporal evil world. We're a pilgrim and a stranger. He is not for our turn. He's not our turn. Exactly. It's time for the wicked man. Yeah, he said this is our portion, our lot. He is this. That was the mindset of the ungodly. So if you want a portion of this present temporal evil world and prosper and flourish, then you are part of the ungodly. You cannot eat the table of the Lord, uh, the table of uh, or something like that. Let's paraphrase it, man. You know, whose table you gonna sit at, man? That's it. What do you, uh, I, like, who are you with, man? You gotta eventually choose a side, man. That's and, it. You know, and, and, you know, it's a fight, man. The Lord loves a fighter, man. You know, somebody who's not gonna, and, and it goes back to the not, uh, to, to the, to the law of rape, man. You know? Right. Hey, you know, you know, Jake, though, we don't know, don't like talking about the so-called rape doctrine that much, man. But it's a very spiritual thing, man. Yeah, it, 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 it's a very uh, all-encompassing thing. You know, this whole this whole story is a love story. It's a love story about Yahweh and his wife, yeah. and how he had to beat her ass and kick her out the house, and then how uh, and, and she beat her ass because she's supposed to follow his mind. That's right. You see, he just to talk about hey, if you find somebody, you know that that. not thyself over unto a light woman, all right? One that's not gonna follow your mindset. And so if we're the woman, the wife of the Most High God, the Creator, all right, well, we have to follow His mindset. Because if we go, go according to our own mindset, well, then that's us cheating on our, our, our husband, right. the Creator. But go ahead. But yeah, man, so, so yeah, man, you know, this is the greatest love story you ever told, man. If you like, well, it's the greatest story you ever told, period. If you like war, romance, whatever the fuck right. you want to talk about, it's all in there. Yeah. Matter of fact, you got to, you got to, you got to know the Bible in order to be a good director. Oh, yeah. Movie. Well, no, that, that, that's, yeah. that's a thing that's in yeah. Hollywood, Dave. Yeah. If you were a director yeah. or something, especially yeah. one of those top directors, yeah. man, you have to have read the Bible several times yeah. to get the stories. Of course, they're not going to get the understanding of the yeah. You know, but many <laughs> the greatest, you know, movies and stories come from the, the right. Bible. And, they, and, and that's where you get the word romance from, the word Roman, right? Because the Romans, man, you no, know, you dealing with the Romans, you dealing with these uh what I'm talking about, the, you know, the the, the the Edomite way of doing things, man. Alright? Uh lasciviousness, overeating, they even had something called a vom uh, vomitarian, man. Where they would go, uh they would gorge themselves. And fucking vomit, man. They would over have they would over sexualize things, man. Everything was not nothing was done in moderation, man. Right. Everything, everything was out of balance. Everything was out of balance. But but then you have this way. We how about shimmy outside? That's why you said blessed are uh woes to be your land when that king is a child, man. All right? Blessed is the land when the king is a son of nobles, man. You eat in due season. Okay? And right now we gotta have the discipline to eat in due season. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't about balling right now. You know? Right. 
Yeah, it's the time for everything, man. The Lord got to, Yahweh Shai got to get his first, man. Yeah. And why not, bruh? Right. Oh, you, you, all you motherfucking Christians and all you people, man, okay? You, you talk about, you know, they'll watch a movie like Passion of the Christ with Mel Gibson, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they'll watch movies like that. They'll see the you know, depiction of all the shit that the Lord went through, all right? But not understanding, you know, really grasping his walk. They'll call themselves Christians. But what does it mean to be a Christian? Does it mean to be Christ-like? What the scripture says, uh, uh, what says, follow me, be followers of me, as I am a follower of Hamashiach. Love me, keep my commandments. Yeah, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. So we have an example, we, uh, we have an example of, you know, of how, how to walk, man. Yeah. So yeah. this is gonna lead to, lead no, to no, life. Sorry, I was gonna say, uh, uh, Mind the same thing. You see? Hey, and yeah, I was trying to say in that Luke 12, he said, man, uh, 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 man, how I wish that I, uh, it would all, I'm coming to bring fire on the earth. He said, I'm coming to bring fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? Woo! You see? So we got to have that same mindset. Like, man, we want the fire to be kindled on this earth. Why? Because this is the, the place that was given over unto the wicked. This was the place where we have to go through our lowest state and be in these chains of darkness where even the Apostle Paul said, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Oh, wretched man that I am. You see? And so we gotta have that mindset, man. Not the mindset of this present temporal evil world and it continuing on and you flourishing with it and you keeping up with the Joneses and being rich, wanting the money, cars, clothes, the whole success, fortune, fame. To hell with this place, man. That's right. What's that song? Uh, they said, all I want for my birthday is it's a, a big, big booty, booty bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Yeah. See, the scripture says, uh, I will be satisfied when I rise with, with his likeness. likeness. That's it. Right. But, uh, hey, man, a uh, me head is, uh, is satisfied with a with a, with a a fucking uh, a, a nice car, a big booty bitch. Right. I'm I'm satisfied with that. Wow. I'm satisfied with a, with a, with a, with a couple nigga women, wow. with a couple cars, and some blunts. Right. Man, can you know what I'm saying? But the whole time, hey, and twenty thousand dollar PPP loan. Like, oh, and twenty thousand. And the whole time you gotta compromise all your integrity. Okay, you you gotta compromise all your integrity. You can't be a man. Wow. All right. As a matter of fact, not only can you not be a man, motherfucker, if you find anybody trying to be one, go oh, tell me about it, <laughs> and you sit down and you do a video about this nigga. Right. Wow. All right. Wow. And tell them how you're supposed to worship the black woman. Wow. All right, you let them know, Umar. All right, then we're going to keep that check. <laughs> hey, hey, this is what's going on in this world, man. Look, 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 look what's going no. on, man. Hey, but, hey, hey go ahead, grab that, uh, okay. that mic. Okay, this is that mic of 2 and 10 that the elder asked for. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See, all oh, right. Shalom. 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 Hey, it's a, uh, read it again. Micah, 2 and 10 at the top. Arise ye and depart. See, the Bible is telling us, the Israelites, the special chosen children, arise ye and depart. Is it talking about physically? You know, get, hop up on the, uh, get you a flight somewhere? A train ticket somewhere? No. No. All right, spiritually, man. The scriptures talk about renewing your mind, not being conformed to this world. That's right. See, we're trying to be conformed to the image of the Most High's dear Son. All right? Our Lord and Savior, man. The standard. All right? That's what we're trying to conform to. Okay? And so it took this present temporal evil world to do that. But we had to overcome, all right, this present temporal evil world. Not succumb to it. You see, because again, this is not our rest. rest. Read it again, brother. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, uh -huh. because it is polluted. See, it is polluted. The Most High has given this earth unto the hand of the wicked. The Most High has given this earth unto, unto carnal mindsets, and carnal mindsets having power and sway and influence 
and being able to do as thou wilt. See, in the kingdom, the good deeds is going to be a force. See, in the kingdom, the Most High is not allowing death styles to be prevalent anymore. That's right. All right? We're going to rule. The law is going to be righteousness, man. See, right now, you got all matter of different sets of rules and regulations depending on which geographical location you at. That's right. You see? And you can even have a say-so in making up some laws. That's right. You know what I'm That's saying? right. <laughs> you got to vote. You, <laughs> you got to vote. That's so right. Called. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's how you know that the people that say that they the people today are not the people. Because scriptures say, like the elder just brought out, that we in charge, it's not going to be no you can do whatever you want to do type of shit going on. These people that's in charge now, not only do they got to you can do whatever you want to do, but they facilitate wickedness. And if they catch you trying to do right by what you're supposed to do, they'll tell you, no, that, that's for us. That's not for you. Right. You can't do that. And you'll get in trouble with these people. And you got what's called a gatekeeper's too, man. Uh, two-third ass, two ass Jake. You know, like, you know, anytime somebody tries to come with a mindset. You make yourself a prey, man, when you try to make it, man. And, uh, you know, not to pick up that guy Kevin Samuels, you know, but you know, just that mindset of, of masculinity show you how they had fucking all these cuck ass niggas, high paid cucks, uh, high high paid simps, man. You come fight against that mindset, man. Bunch of niggas trying to push that pussy ass mindset on our people, but people further coming to man. So any fucking sibling uh that looks like righteousness is gonna be attacked and a lot of these guys, they, they listen to us, man. You know, they listen to the apostles and us, man. Because that's the reason why the whole man of fear really exists, man. The first man of fear, the first man of fear was the apostles. The apostles the first one that came and pushed masculinity. I remember they would go, you're a slut. You know? <laughs> hey, bring your shame to the game, man. Because they wish you to say the shameful, uh, a shame-faced woman is, uh, it says a shameless woman should be counted as a dog, right. but she that right. is shame faced is gonna be counted godly, man. So now you got men that are bringing shame to the game again, right? But he saw he, hey, he, hey what it says, uh, he's pushing that uh, do as thou wilt. So you refuse to be ashamed. He says I have the force. That's uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah. That has a horse, a horse for him. A, a whore, a whore would never fucking admit being uh, uh, wrong, man. What are you uh, talking about? That's a woman's kryptonite. So we can't be that way. We got to step up and be accountable for our actions. Hey, yeah. Even uh, like, you know, a, a, as a man, like you were saying, uh, uh, you know, that that masculinity is, is is coming back. But we're talking about a man according to the nature, That's right. right? The divine nature. All right, the God-given nature of, of, of a man. We're talking about that. All right, not just know, oh yeah, I'm just dominant because I'm a man and I got a penis and I got you know, you I got go. the power over you. I right, go. right. Nah. And dumb as a bag of rocks. Right. Nah. We're talking about according to, and, and this is what's going on. All right, with the true men of the Lord on down. All right, we're being purified and perfected and coming to the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and the God given nature of everything. All right, and we're rehearsing that. And that's why we need Yahweh Shah because we're not perfect at it. That's right. And we slip up. That's you know right. what I'm saying? You know, but this is all a, a, a part of the condition of the battle. But again, we have to come up out of the mindset of this world and doing as thou wilt, establishing your own righteousness. And this present temporal evil world continuing on because like the brother uh, is reading, all right, this present temporal evil world is polluted, all right, with carnal ways. It's yeah. polluted where carnal ways have power. But this, I'm gonna grab this scripture real quick in uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 10, verse one. 
It says a wise judge will instruct his people. That's right. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Right. So just like we were saying in the kingdom of heaven, the good deeds is going to be a force. All right. The government of a prudent man is well ordered. There's going to be order. All right. That's right. All right. The law of life. That's right. Onto who we rule over. That's right. You know, we won't allow them to live a, 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 a death style anymore. That's right. You see, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so uh, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner a man of a ruler of a city is, such are all they that dwell therein. That's right. And that's why in this present temple evil world, you got wickedness just saturated the whole entire earth because the ruler is wicked. That's right. And people want favor from the ruler. That's right. All right, they want, you know, they want uh, 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 some of the power of the ruler. They want some of the fortune of the ruler. Some of them white only pies. They want some of them white only pies, That's not knowing right. that ultimately they gonna burn their damn tongue. <laughs> they gonna die. They gonna, <laughs> they gonna That's white right. only die for that white. <laughs> well, scripture says the, uh, the time is coming where the uh, the churlish will, will not said to be uh, liberal. Right. What well, says the churl should not said to be bountiful. Uh, nor the wicked said to be liberal, whether you're afraid or something like that. Yeah. But hey, man, the Lord, the Lord's going to show you that this way, hey, man, you're going to you're going to regret, man. You're going to dwell in torment, man. You're going to wish that, man. You go. Scripture says many shall seek to enter in and not be able, man. So you're going to be like, damn, that was the door. <laughs> that was the exit. Yeah. <laughs> you know the fight, the movies with uh like backdraft and shit like that. The movie, right. the house is on fire. You know, like the shit's burning down, you know, but you don't walk past the exit. <laughs> you you walk past the exit, man, and motherfuckers was telling your ass, look, that's the way out. Right. And the house is on fire. You like, no, I'm gonna take the stairs. Right. 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 Now, I, now you in the stairs, nigga. Now, now, now you finna burn up in the stairs, nigga. Exactly. Right. You know? Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. This this rock is like this Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side. When the vilest men are exalted. You see? Right. When, when the vilest men are exalted, hey, the way you walk on every side because everybody wants a part of that exaltation. You see? But that's when you don't know what time it is because, you know, the, the, when the Lord come back, he said he's coming to abase those that's exalted. He's coming to abase those that's exalted. Hey, here it is. The Lord came right here. The Lord, the Lord, I like using this analogy, man. The Lord came, lifted them up, right? Everybody in the world, like, I want to be like that. I want to get lifted up. I want, I want, I want to get lifted up too. You know, not to know that the Lord's ultimate design was to super you know, to break this motherfucker, man. Right. You know, and I also use the analogy like uh, the eagle all the time, man. It's the highest flying bird. But it's the most filthy bird, man. Nasty. All right, and it's a ravenous bird that fucking just devours shit, bird, man. Bird. So, hey, man, that's what this place is. It's exalted filth, man. Yeah, filth is the, the things that are unclean, man, are exalted here, man. Right. They, they, they put it on a pedestal, man. Vomit, man. And that's why the uh, so we talk about that 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 woman having that cup full of the uh, abominations of the earth. Man. And it's being raised up above all the nations right now. Yeah. Just filth. And everybody's seeing it. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh my God, like this, nothing but filth comes from this place, man. Yeah. Hey, one of the, uh, uh, it was, uh, cause you know you had this, this shit that's now, all these bitches made a, uh, a list of uh, all, the, all the places you can't take them to go eat, right? But then Jake, uh, niggas made a list of all the bitches not to take out, period. And at the bottom of the list, was American women. Right above that was the black woman. That's right. You know? So, American woman. American woman. Hey, that's the yeah, way for me. Hey, that's a spiritual song, too. Uh, well, hey, uh, going back to this uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, yeah, chapter right. 10, God, God. verse 3, uh -huh. it says, an unwise king destroyeth his people. Right. 
an unwise king destroyeth the people that he rules over. That's right. An unwise king does that. And look at the world today. That's right. Look at the people that's being ruled over. That's right. Too much sword fighting and scissor bumping, Elder. All around the world, man, look at the mourning that's going on. Look at the lamentation that's going on. Look at the woe that's going on. Look at the disease. Look at the wars. Look at the hate. That's right. All right? It's just rampant. That's because of the ruler. All right? But again, the Most High God has given the earth into the hand of the wicked for a time and a purpose. And that time and purpose is almost up. This place is polluted. All right? And guess what? It's about to be cleansed by way of fire at the That's return right. of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Right. So since he's coming with that wrath, what manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation and God? Right. Yeah, because he's by the, he's by the uh, 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 wickedness, you got a man. Sir. Yeah, I have. I got, yeah. It's okay. says evil shall be uh, put out. Oh, it's going to say the spark of his fire, uh, fire shall not be, his light, his candle shall be put out. The spark of his fire shall not be out man. The light of wickedness is about to get put out of the earth. What, what you got, brother? What you got, brother? This is Job 7. This is Job 7 and uh, 1. Okay. And uh, there is an appointed time <laughs> to man upon earth. Are not his days also like the days of a hireling? As a hireling. <laughs> Read it again, brother. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Job 7 and 1. Is there not an appointed time to a man right. upon earth? Right. Are not his days also like the days of an harling? Right. And it's another scripture in Job that says uh, he appointed his bounds. 14 and 5. That he That's cannot that Job pass. 14 and 5. Yeah. And it says turn from him that uh, he may accomplish that's right. that's as right. a hireling his yeah, day. His day. So, that's hey, it. man, you're hired to do a job. Now it's time to get paid. Hey, look at like, hey, you ready to get paid? Uh -huh. you ready? Like, yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm oh, ready. yeah. That's right. Hey, almost finished. ready. Hey, almost ready. Oh, you <laughs> long now. Hey, so, so he's about to pay you. Everybody's going to get paid. The scripture says according to what they work what they, on. That's, that's right. It. Whatever your works on this be. earth, you're going to get paid. And, and what you really want is to get your ass whooping now. You want to get right. your ass whooping now, right. man. Right. So that way you have a chance of, the, of getting passed over. Because the, the, oh, uh, the, the Passover, man. That's it. The Passover, brother. What, passing over. Yeah. Death passed over us, man. That's, that's right. The Lord's about to unleash the, 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 the death angel again. Yahweh Shai and all of that. That's right. Him, man. That's it. So we just want to get passed over. So the thing is, man, put yourself in a position to do so. We, we, you got to return. Yeah. We've been talking about it, you know, all today. Uh, yes, you know? sir. Yeah. Matter of fact, we can go back to that, Jeremiah, because we never finished that. Uh, Jeremiah 3 and uh, 14. You see? Because that's what it's all about. Returning while, you know, the door of repentance is still open, man. But again, it's already a done deal of who is going to, you know, uh, uh, be a part of that elect and return. It's the elect. And they That's were right. predestined to be the elect. But like the scripture says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. sure. You see? So we still have to do our job as the men of the Lord, as the prophets, man, who were called to do this particular job of coming out and warning our people, telling our people, guiding our people. Okay? And just like the uh, scripture said uh, in Jeremiah 28 and 8, that scripture that really can come out every week. That's right. All right, the prophets that no, have been before that's me right. and before thee of old prophesied both against many uh, countries uh, uh, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. The prophets are going to be speaking of the downfall of whatever current kingdom it is that was standing that was on its way down. All right? So it's no different right now. All right, but look, let's go ahead and grab that. What you want? Uh, that Jeremiah 3 and 14. This is Jeremiah 3, okay, and 14. Uh-huh. And it reads, Turn, O backsliding children. Turn, O backsliding children. And that word turn is the Hebrew word shawab, which means return. Huh. 
All right, so there it is again, telling us, the scripture's telling us, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, to return to who you are, man. Return. Return. Because real quick, Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 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 chapter one, verse two. And we're gonna go right back to that. I, I get it. Return. Go ahead. This this Isaiah chapter one, verse two, it says, as the this Isaiah chapter one and verse two, it says, Hear O heavens and give ear O earth. That's us, the Israelites. Go ahead. For the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. I have Ooh. nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. Real quick, somebody get me uh, uh Sirach 17 and 17 because it says what it says for i have nourished and brought up children he has nourished and brought up children the children that he brought nourished and brought up was the israelites those That's who right. stem from abraham isaac and jacob all right and he gave us That's a right. particular way that he nourished us with what was the way so isaiah chapter verse 17 and verse 17 for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Keep going. Whom being his firstborn, he nourishes with discipline. See, Israel, right, who also called his firstborn, right, the Israelites, right, he said he do what? He nourishes with discipline. Nourishes with what? With discipline. Discipline. If you look up the word discipline, it's a, it, it, many different definitions but one of the definitions is a set of rules and regulations man i always give the analogy or the example of the different fighting arts all right someone may say hey well hey what's your discipline he may say muay thai you ask somebody else what's your discipline he may say wrestling you i'll ask this man this man well he got plenty what's your discipline your fighting art. BJJ. BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So those, you know, and he got many in boxing, you know what I'm saying, and wrestling, whatever else, you know? And so here it is, each discipline comes with a set of rules and regulations. That's right. You see? So here it is. Can you read that again? Right. This is a rock. Chapter 17, verse 18. Uh huh. Who being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. See, he nourishes us with discipline. What is our discipline? Uh, this is Sirach chapter 17 and verse 11. Uh huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. <laughs> The law of life, man. That's how you say That's right. The rules and regulations that leads to righteousness, immortal life. That's right. Life everlasting. The law of life. That's right. Because right. life, it has specific directions you must follow. That's right. You see? Specific direction you must follow. And if you transgress those directions, then you head in the opposite direction. That's right. The opposite direction of life is death. It's death, Jack. What they say, I'm on the highway to hell. hell. <laughs> <laughs> you headed to the you grave. See? So our discipline, the Israelites' discipline, all right, he said he nourishes us with discipline. That's right. We read that our discipline is the law of life. That's right. All right, the, the, the set of rules and regulations because the heathen nations, they got their own ways and heritages and cultures where they come with a different set of rules and regulations to live on the earth that's right you see and that's a carnal unrighteous way that they have that's why their way always leads to a downfall and death that's right. but the way that was given to us the israelites that he nourished us with is the way the divine set of rules and regulations it's divine okay. like in Poland, it says in Proverbs, Law is a lamp. Uh, uh, it's a light one to prepare yeah, for yeah. illumination shows the way that God. Yes. This Sirach 20 and 32, 
Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a God. Hey, who's our God? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. In a specific way. That's it. Yeah. This Psalms 48 and 14. For this God is our power forever <laughs> and ever. He will be our God even unto death. <laughs> Woo! Can I land back off that? Yes, sir. What you got, brother? Then this is that Jeremiah 10 and 16. It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them. We're not like these heathen ass nations, okay? Right. The portion of Jacob is not like them, right. for he is the former of all things. That's it. We are and the Israel is the rod of his inheritance. That's right. it. That's it. We are the former of all things, man. You see? We are the the, the those special yeah. chosen royal people, all right, who made everything with the foreman. Our that's Lord right. and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You see? And that's why the prophets, the men of the Lord, care so much. Right. You see? Ain't nobody gonna care about your stuff, all right, like you. All right? This is our stuff. We made it. That's all right. right. All right? All through the spirit and power of our Father. That's right. You see? Uh -huh. All through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, who is the chief. All right, the form. You see, that the father gave the preeminence to. That's right. You see, and he said that Yahweh is the uh, uh, firstborn among many brethren. All right. What, what you got, brother? Right fast. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven and verse fourteen. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Wow. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. You see, we got to return though. You see, we have to return. We have to be born again. Huh. Put off the ways of this world. Put off the ways of the flesh. Put off car carnality. Put off leaning to your own understanding. Put off establishing your own righteousness. That's right. All right? And roll with the will of the Father. Roll with his purpose. That's right. Practice what he say righteousness is. That's right. All right? Return to you understanding that you are a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. That's our nationality. That's who we are. <laughs> And we, the Hebrew Israelites, the special chosen children, we have a particular way, all right, that was given to us. Right. And now we are to return to that way. All right, because again, like the scripture says, let's go back to that uh, uh, Isaiah, and then we're going to go right back to that uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 3. 14. Yes, sir. Okay. This okay. Isaiah chapter so 1 and verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. That's us, the Israelites. He has uh, nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against him. We have rebelled against our Father. All right? And the way, the divine righteous way he gave us, we rebelled against. Go ahead. Right. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Yep. But Israel doth not know. You see, the Bible is giving you this analogy of uh, two of the, you know, most docile animals in the animal kingdom. That's right. right. But it says the, the ox know of his owner, the ass, the donkey, know his master's crib. That's right. <laughs> they know they know who nourished them. Bill. Take care of them. You know what I'm saying? But Israel, the Israelites, <laughs> the children of the most high God, the special chosen children, they don't know. That's right. They don't even consider Let's get that Ezekiel 3, where it talks about how they just, what they do, you know, with, with like around like the third, fourth, fifth chapter, somewhere, all right? And then we still gonna go back to that Jeremiah, Lord, uh -huh. we'll, 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 Start. Let's start at three. It's Ezekiel 3 and 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat 
and fill thy bowels with this gold that I give thee. So this is for the teachers, the prophets, man. All right, we gotta go ahead and read, and study, and of course still be guided by our elders that came before us. That's how it goes, all right? Because that's why it says you gotta be like that little babe. The little babe has parents, man, okay? So when you born again, all right, even as an adult, you're born again, all right, and then you have to have spiritual parents since you're a little babe, right? That's and your right. spiritual parents are the elders, the men of the Lord, that the Most High God have sent before you came. That's right. All right, but go ahead. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Uh-huh. And he said unto me, son of man, go give thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. See, and so then the men of the Lord are to learn themselves, you know, repent, return, straighten up, fly right, read, study, toil, work, labor, all right? So that the Most High could give, you know, the, the, the men of the Lord their particular increase, several abilities, right? right. And saying, and once they, you know, come up on the level, then the, the men of the Lord, the teachers do what? They go to who? To unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. So we go to the house of Israel, our people, all right? And since our people are scattered all over the world, all right, we come out into the highways and hedges, the highways and byways, and we speak to everybody. We go to the chief place of concourse, all right? And we go ahead and we speak to the people. And, and it's like a bag. And, and the, the, the elect is the other part of the bag that's going to, you know, it's that call out. Right. Where they would uh, right. get that see. big old magnet and then they would put it out and then all metal things would come uh, to it right. all over the city. And you know what I'm saying? This magnet, you know what I'm saying? It's the word of the most high God. And it's calling out to all the elect of the nation of Israel because that's who's going to come. All right? Hey, it catches some bad, too. Yeah, no, it, it catches some bad, but the bad wind up getting weeded out here. That's yeah, right. Get you, you see? The filter filter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, 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 so, 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 ultimately, all right, the men of the Lord, we go out and we teach our people, okay, with the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? Rightly divided. And we're only doing it through the ability that the Most High gives. All right, because he's, yep, and he speaks through his men, through the Holy Spirit, man. So go ahead. Ezekiel 3 and 5, For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending you to the, to the Israelites. That's right. All right, go ahead, your people. Go ahead. Verse 6, Not too many people of a strange speech and of an hard language whose words thou canst not understand surely had i sent thee to them i'm they not would sending hearken unto thee right he said i'm not sending you to these heathens but guess what if i did they would have listened they, they hey <laughs> because hey he and that's sad man that hey these heathen nations if they were the special chosen children they wouldn't give a good good who, who ain't so so you mean to tell me Right, right, right. You're right, 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 right. 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 But I have better guests. You're right, right. You mean to say? I am Saka Zulu, the warrior. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I am him. Yeah. They, they will love it, bro. Like, yeah. They be all in. Hey, man, look, shit, look what they doing now. All the people in that land, man. Yeah. You got the Colossians. You got a goddamn boots coming off the airplane like they're returning. Yep. Oh. I was just talking to the Talking about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Manasseh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're trying to say these boots are some Manasseh and shit. See? This nigga looking for a cat and shit. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, see, everybody would, would love to be the special chosen children. That's yeah. right. But when you tell the actual true special chosen children that they're the special chosen they children, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They'll say, well, what about everybody else? You know what I'm saying? And, and they first people they go to is their number one enemy. Well, He's what about solid. the white man? You know what I'm saying? Doesn't he deserve salvation? Man, man bro. <laughs> and, and that's sad because, again, that, that's that's a part of the telltale sign that we, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the true chosen children. We're so compassionate and want to just include everybody. All right? But that's also a part of, you know, being, you know, compassionate to a fault. That's right. Fault. 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 That's out of balance. Fault. 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 When the Lord told us to be separate, 
That's what it means to be holy, holy. right? Right. That's right. If you're not separate, you're unholy. Exactly. You're part of a <laughs> vomit, a gumbo, exactly. everything. Exactly. Build it together like, all right, well, then how are you special? Like, exactly. Nobody's special. There is no such word as special. There's no special. There's no chosen people. If we, because Esau, he prides himself with most diverse diversity. Most no, 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 the Lord deals with diversity in order. Right. Okay. Like you don't sow uh, seeds. Uh, you say you don't sow. Like if you if you plant fucking uh, pumpkins, they can plant pumpkins. They don't don't fucking put a damn watermelon next to the pumpkin and it's all confused and shit like that, man. You know, now they all fighting each other because you got what it's called, uh, you got germ warfare and you got what it's called, uh, plant warfare, I think it's called. But plants actually fight each other, certain plants, man. You got weeds that, that, that wrap around other plants and they choke them out. In the garden, the Lord put everything in his order, which said he set the bounds, uh, you know what it says, uh, uh, keep it. it says he set the bounds in order to the yeah, according to the number of the children of Israel. When he separated the nations. Right, right you know? Well, it says according to, uh, it says, this, this, this I got it says, right here. You got it? This is uh, Deuteronomy 32. No, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, go ahead, no, you got it. Oh, okay. This is Deuteronomy 32 and nine. Eight. Uh, 32 eight. and eight. Uh, Start at eight, it says, when the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay, so he set everything according to us, all right? Because we're his portion. If you keep reading, go down and Deuteronomy 32 and 10, 32 and 9, for the Lord's portion is his people Jacob, is the lot of his inheritance, okay? He said he, uh, he, said he, uh, he chose one lily, yeah. That's right. He chose uh, uh, oh, one you know dove. What? Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, I, I, okay, I it. okay. I, I uh -huh. get it for you right here. Hey, because, hey, hey, look, man, you can't tell a man he can't have a favorite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody has a favorite something, man. Yeah. Well, how about Shimei Al-Shai has a favorite, man? Well, I got it. This is uh, uh, Second Ephesus chapter 5, verse uh, 23. It says, it said, O Lord, that there is rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof thou hast chosen the one only vine and of all the lands of the whole earth a whole world Woo! thou hast chosen the one pit and of all the flowers thereof one lily and of all the depths of the sea thou hast filled the one river and that's and right says, look unto the pit from which thou art big man yep israel oh can you get that Look, look up to the pickle gap that we all did, man. And then I think you go to say, uh, look for our father Abraham. I think he said that, man. Uh, if you try to get it, you know, showing you who the world was dealing with that, uh, he said, one, one, one vine. Yep. A vine is a vine. That's right. Okay. Uh, uh, can, you, can you bring this out real quick? Uh, Yep. Great it's Isaiah Great chapter fun. 51 and verse right. 1. Yeah. It says, Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek your hallow. Look unto the rock which ye are hewn, and to the home of the pit which ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. As what it says, I can see the many. Yea, he shall dwell in it forever. Uh -huh. 
It says, and of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of peoples, here's the point, among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. Woo! That's it. <laughs> Hey, but yeah, that's, that's the Lord, yes, man. Sir. He has his chosen, man. That's the chosen Lord of the Bible, man. And you know, it's funny, man, because the whole world is willing to accept. Oh, the, the, yeah. You know that the God has a chosen people. They're willing to accept it. The only thing ain't nothing. Right. Hey, you know, everybody can return <laughs> except for the Israelites. <laughs> the Lord can have mercy on anybody, no matter what you do. As long as you're not an Israelite. That's right. Hey, check it out. It says, and among all the multitudes of peoples. <laughs> All right, so out of all the people that's on the planet Earth, the Most High God said he has him a special people. That's it. That's it. And that special people are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. That's right. Of the 12 tribes of Israel. We are that special chosen royal people. That's Check it. It, out. It, says in it says, and among all the multitude of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people, whom thou lovest, Ooh. thou gavest a law right. that is approved of all. So he gave us a way right. that was superior to all ways that people live on this planet Earth. We have our own way. And it's the superior way. It's the way that will exalt you and promote you as royalty and rulers, kings, priests royalty you see and that's why we should return to our way rehearse it until our lord and savior gets here till he puts it in our inward parts and that's how we're going to rule on the planet earth in the eternal righteous kingdom to come that's right and that way will keep you from being fucking overweight obese oh yep getting gal oh yep. uh, th this way will keep you from having a daughter all right and then <laughs> turn it six uh, 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 turning 60 years old and have a hug come back with fucking 10 kids. Now you can't retire. Now you gotta take care of them 10 kids and, and, the, and the daughter you already fucking raised. Hey, it would have you from being depressed because yeah. you're so worried about keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. You're so worried about, you know, well, where am I at in life and I should be here or there or wherever, all right? No, it keeps you from that because now you know the will of the Father. You know what time it is. You know his purpose. You see what I'm saying? You know his purpose. And since you know his purpose, well, here it is now. You ain't, you know. You're not uh, stupid. Exactly. You're not a fucking idiot. Exactly. Like, majority of our fucking people, man. That, that, that's it. Dumb as fuck, man. It's like, true. Just, just stupid, you know what I mean? It's true. Hey, yeah, 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 that's a good thing. That's one thing I look forward to with the kids. Not being stupid. Because even, yeah. even, even though I, I understand the truth and I believe, I'm still stupid. Right. Right. I'm still stupid. Well, like Paul said, because, hey, you know, that which I would, that who I am. You know what I'm saying? And that which I would not, that I do. Yeah. So it's just like, dang. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hey, the only Israelite that's not stupid no more right now. Is if you in the spirit world or you have you have a shadow. That's it. Other than that, if you down here, you're stupid. But some are smarter than others. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're the best of the stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right? What are you right? I, I'm crazy like a fox, like they say. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, uh, all right, we, we 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 stupid. We ain't that stupid, though. Right. No, we. All right, because what she says, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. You can't even begin to be wise. Right. Unless you fear your high wise and your own You cannot begin to even be wise. <laughs> you can't. You haven't even made the first step. <laughs> you haven't made the first step to be wise. The first step to being wise is fear your high wise and your own man. What you got, brother? Hey, Con, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and verse 12. There is a generation, so like it. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Wow. And that's a, that's a horrible uh, mindset, because you're going to continue on to heap yes. it, heap your sins, 
upon sin. Right. You're never gonna come to the realization like fuck until it's way too late. Until uh, until yeah. my to my skin is uh, my my flesh is consumed. All right, then I said how I hated my teachers. That's it. So uh, then you gonna have a flashback to everybody trying to save you. Everybody trying to reach their hand out, and you was like, no, nah, fuck that. That's, that's right. That's now, right. Now, Hey, because yeah. that, now that you said that, let's go back to that Jeremiah uh, uh, 3 and uh, 14 because it's going to tie in. Because just like that Proverbs of, uh, bro just quoted, you're going to say, how have I hated my teachers? The teachers that the Most High God raised up, sent out onto the highways and hedges, all right, and posted the videos up on the YouTube, That's right. all right, and all the other platforms that the men of the Lord are on, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right. all right, giving this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, warning you of the truth, warning you of, of, of the pending doom that's to come, man. Okay? And how to uh, 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 avoid the wrath of the Lord, man. All right, now again, it's already written, it's already a done deal, but this is a part of the deal. You know that the man of the Lord will come and and, 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 and you know because the Lord said before uh, uh, they spring forth I tell you of them before he does his thing he tell you of them how do he tell you of them by way of the prophets that's right the pastors the teachers according to his heart the ones that he sent to give this wisdom knowledge and understanding man this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that he gave exclusively to his special chosen children, the Israelites. That's this right. way that we should return to so we can escape the pending doom that's coming. So let's go ahead and hit that. This is Jeremiah 3 and 14. And it reads, turn, O backsliding children. So return, O backsliding children, because we veered off the path. Now it's time to return back to the path so we can, uh, like it says in, in uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time and strength of thy salvation. salvation. All right, the wisdom and knowledge, this is this wisdom and knowledge, this is the way, this is the path that we should return to, to this wisdom and knowledge that stems from the mind of the Most High God. Go ahead. Turn, O backsliding children, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Because we backslid into mindsets, all right, of carnality, of unrighteousness, all right? Mindsets of even leaning to our own understanding of what the word of God means. You see, so that means that our people, and we all have, all right, delved into some false religion or some misinterpretation of the Bible. That's right. right. And when you misinterpret the Bible, it becomes a false religion. That's right. You see, it becomes no longer the way. That's right. You see, a little leaven, a leaven is the, long, uh, the, the whole lump. What, hey, it's just like I always, the analogy of getting to a destination of immortality, getting to a destination of salvation and life everlasting, it comes, it's only one route. It's only one route. So since it's only one route, it only comes with specifics specific directions right. and if you get one wrong direction you have nine right direction one wrong that's the best lie that you can ever tell that's the that's best right. lie you can ever tell yep. it's chock full of truth yeah it's chock full of truth hey you, yeah you it's like brother hey sister do you know that you're not supposed to wear a dress right now brother i mean sister sister brother yeah you're not supposed to wear yeah you're not supposed to wear pants sister supposed to have your hair covered sister the law, sister. Right. The whole town for to set you up for the MOTV. Right. I'm finna have you fucking on the Sabbath. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have you calling on cheese and rice. You can do it, it in the, the butt. butt. <laughs> 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 I'm finna set you up for every thing that finna piss the Lord off. So that's an example of giving some right direction, yeah. but then you give some wrong ones. Yeah. And if you give some wrong ones on a, 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 a destination that only got one route, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't get to that destination. They you got, see? Off your they got the sign with, with, uh, with the Lord as a black man. You know right. the Lord is a yeah, black right, man. Right. He got, yeah. right, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Hey, they, 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 they alluring. Yeah. They are alluring means yep. they, they pull you in. You know what I mean? That's they it. got the garments, that's right. They right. all look at the, 
<laughs> bro, right. it looks on point. Yeah. But it's, the scripture says, it says, because uh, you know the scripture we talked about, uh, they like graves uh, that are not uh, marked. It talks about graves that are not marked. Type in uh, graves that are not marked, or something like that. But, it, but the Nazi uh, description is that they're like open sepulchers, man. They're like graves. Right, right, right. Because if you even, according to the law, if you even step over a grave, you're unclean. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, you just walking. You know what right, I mean? Right. You don't know you, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You don't know you stepped over a whole fucking grave because nobody marked it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now you're unclean. And that's what the Lord likes. Uh, they're like uh, graves that men walk over. Type in uh, graves that men walk over. You got it, go ahead. You got it, Luke okay. chapter 11 and verse 44. Woe unto the scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Is that? So you just walking. <laughs> you don't know, you, you about to go to the temple, I'm about to, man, I'm gonna go sacrifice. <laughs> the whole time you were unclean motherfucker, man. Yeah. You know, but you didn't know because right. it was unmarked, man. Right. But we're the ones who are marking those graves, right. man. And when, he says, whatever don't make manifest yes, is yes. like yeah. That's why it says, mark them which cause the vision. Mark them graves, man. Yeah. Don't, don't put the, have them. Put the scope on. Yeah. Mark them. Yeah, don't let people. It says, note that man. Don't let that man, yeah. You know? Don't let nobody walk over that. And then, so now they unclean. Right. You know, they go to they go on a sacrifice for the Lord, and the Lord finna fuck around and deal with their ass. That's it, hey, and that's why a lot of times, you know, uh, uh, we're hated, man, especially uh, uh, from the apostles of right now, going on down, all right, because we have the unpopular job to expose the false doctrines and the false uh, 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 prophets that speak in those false doctrines, the false camps or the false, whatever that's false, all right, whatever is a lie, whether you speak some truth or not whatever all right it says whatever don't make manifest is light so we have to make manifest make known expose all lies and tell the truth we have to it says break down their battlements all right for they are not the lords and then we build up all right with the truth then we edify okay and come and uh, you know build up with the truth now whether you receive or reject it that ain't on us that's right you hear it well, that ain't on us that's between you and the wood yeah we just gotta do our job you see but, bigger, you got? Bigger. <laughs> but yeah uh yeah man yeah whether you hear you from a bear that's between it, uh, you and the wood it's Sirach 21 and 9 the congregation of the wicked is like toe wrapped together and because uh, let me say this because it's a custom Damn. You know, in our, in, yes, as Israelites are custom to mark away with suck. stones. Right? We mark paths with stones, you know, and we mark areas with stones. We, we mark the you know where a well was, you know. A lot of things were marked. A lot of things were marked with stones. It says, in the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. The way of sinners is made plain with stones. The way of sinners is made plain with stones. <laughs> so we're the men who's coming and marking those graves. Right. We're putting stones. No, this nigga did. And then they're going to tell us why we set trick. Yeah. Why we hate. Why we hate. Why you hating on that dead ass nigga? You mad because he's just dead? <laughs> <Right. laughs> hey, because we, hey, we get in Bernie's, right? This nigga, this nigga pop locking and shit. That nigga doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was dead as fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. He's the deadest nigga. But that nigga was hitting them fools, man. So you hating on this nigga, man, because he got hoes? That nigga, nigga dead as fuck, man. We, got, we, we trying to tell the whole party that it's a dead nigga right, right, and this right, motherfucker, right, right, man. Right. And you all unclean, nigga. Right. Like, but go ahead, man. It says, the way of sinners is made plain with stones, yep. but at the end thereof is the pit of hell. Wow. That's right, man. <laughs> so... <laughs> and the scripture says, uh, oh, you know the one that's, that's says, late. Uh, it says, uh, uh, gather out the stones. Hey, the right. Lord, man, the Lord cold with it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Lord is cold with it, man. Hey, cold. And, and like I say, hey, gather out the stones. you don't like the words, boy, that we're speaking, but 
and wait till the action comes. <laughs> that, that the Lord coming with. That's right. That's See, right. Because all we about is just the words. You right. know what I'm saying? Hey, the so Lord coming with that action. Wait till the heat come down. Isaiah 66 talking about how the Lord is going to come and plead with all flesh with his sword. Right now, we plead with words, man. This is yeah. the nicest you're going to get it. There's no easy way to tell you you're going to fucking burn and right. die. Right. So hey, the, well, like the scripture says, through the uh, fear of the Lord, we persuade men. That's right. You know? yeah. and, and the only ones that's going to be persuaded are the elect who, who from the foundation of the earth were called to be that, man. The, the movie is already done. It's written. It's finished. It's just now being played out, all right, in real time right now, okay? And the prophets are here to tell you of his will, all right, whether you believe it or not. And we understand that only the elect few will get it, all right? And the rest were blinded as That's it right. is written. All right, but go ahead. It's Isaiah 62 and 10. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones. And that's our job, man. Gather out the stones. Move those stumbling blocks out the way of our people, man. So they can make, so they can make a way, man. So they can make a way, man. You know, so they can uh, uh, set up way marks. You know, as you said, set up the way marks. And the way marks, are, the, are, are your way back to the Father, you know? Yeah. We're ushering in your house shot, man. You know, and it just get, you know. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Make straight the way. Because that was uh, John the Baptist's job. Yep. He said, look, man, I'm just one to the will that is the Father. And he said, fuck you, fucking scribes and Pharisees, man. He he got out the way, man. He, uh, oh, while y'all was in the temple selling fucking t-shirts and, and hats and shit, Okay, hey, 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 John the Baptist, he, he, he was in the wilderness, man. I don't get the hell away from the movie, yeah. man. Hey, what Jeremiah say? Oh, that I had a lodging in place of wayfaring men, that I may uh, 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 leave my people, because they be all adulterers, a congregation of, uh, of, of wicked men, you know? So, hey, man, this is that sanctuary. This is that, uh, uh, that island of the innocent. We want to be on that island. Deep plane, deep plane. Yeah, Remember man, that nigga? Yeah, yeah. That nigga tattoo? Yeah. Deep plane. He was on that island, man. We try to get to that island, man. You know? But you got it. That's it. Because ultimately, you know, when the Lord comes, you have to be found unified with his mindset. And if you're found unified with his mindset, well then, that means that you went through the straight gate, you made your body a living sacrifice, you were rehearsing what he called righteousness, and you were the plan, you were you were yeah, signing yeah, yeah, crime. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You were looking for yeah. the savior. You looking, you, you yeah. wasn't turned around and yeah. being a part of this world, uh, you know, trying to yeah, live yeah, your best yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Chasing the bag. You were about the money, cars, clothes, the hoes. Because if you're about that, you're not looking for the Lord coming. You, you over here doing something else. So when he comes, it's going to be like, huh, what, huh, who, who are you, what, you know? As opposed to those who sign and crying that's actually looking for him. And then when they see a little bit of the light, like, yeah, oh, wait a minute, he cracking them clouds. Hey, Lord, you know what I'm saying? You can be one of those ones like, hey, yeah. And we sitting up here testifying against those who was about this world and wickedness, see? See, we're not an accomplice, all right, with this world. We're actually testifying against this world and the mindsets of this world. See, if you are accomplice with this world, that means that you were with this world. You were cool with it and all the mindsets thereof. And even you were trying to flourish and prosper with this world. You see? So when the Lord come, now, uh no matter how good of a person you thought you were, all right, no matter how many of the uh, uh, directions you followed, all right, because remember, in, in, in a, 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 a lie, there's going to be some truths in there. All right, we just told you about the, the directions to a, a, a destination that have, has one route. And you get nine good directions, but rum wrong. Well, you don't get to that destination, man. 
So we, ne we need to have faith in, all right, the word of God and truth. And if we do, then we know what time it is. And if we know what time it is, then we're not about this present temple. We're about the world to come because that's the ultimate will of the Father. And if we're unified with his mindset, well, then we're about that. Like, man, talking, man. Hey man, the Lord's question that is here right now, man. And, and that door of repentance is open, man. And so we need we need to really take that opportunity, man. Boy, that, 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 that door of repentance is open. That's right. Man. But it's closed. Hey. It's closing fast, man. Hey, the Lord's gonna wrap this thing up, man. That's it. Right. You know, he, and as you can say, that this world hastens, hastens the fast way. I saw Satan fall the lightning. Man. Yeah. Things are happening very fast. That's why you do it. time to awake out of sleep. You see? Sleep is being a part of this world. Sleep is you having a mindset of this world of it continuing on and you chasing the bag. Now, of course, you got to have a nine to five and you, you know, you work and, you know, you got to pay your bill. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But our main focus, all right, our main goal, all right, is attaining salvation man all right and righteousness which comes through faith in the word of god in truth not a misinterpretation not a religion of this world the word of god in truth, truth. that's right you see so return that's what it's about so uh, okay. I, I got something i got I got this this is isaiah 62 and 10 Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Mm -hmm. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stone. And we gotta prepare you the way. Because hey man, we're being set up to be leaders of this nation, man. Right. You know, we got we about to lead Israel, man. So we gotta get our house in order so we can uh, 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 do whatever measure of capacity the Lord gives you. You know what I'm saying? But this, this, put like this, this train is not fucking stopping. The Lord ain't waiting for your life. Hey, uh, the truth says the Lord waited for the precious people of the earth to have all things. He's ready to marry his bride. And he, and he, and he, and he, the Lord get that green light, and how much you get that green light, that's what he's gonna do. The deal is standing for the people. And that's what we're doing, man. The truth says the books are open before the firm, man. You don't got no excuse now. Can't no, can no pastor tell you that the book is closed. Hey, the book is closed, brother. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, that's sealed. Right. No, not now, nigga. Right. No, not now. Right. No, now the understanding is get is what's being given, man. Well, you should have said. Yeah, because the Lord said that hey, it's expedient that he go away. You know what I'm saying? So that he can send the comfort to us. All right. Which is the Holy Spirit, which is the truth. All right, where we get our measures of uh, 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 faith and our measures of understanding, all right? But the whole body got the 100% truth, all right? We're thoroughly manifesting all things. That said, said there'll be rude and speech. Yet yes, not, not in knowledge. knowledge. For we be thoroughly Second made manifest in all, all things, things, man. That's right. You know, so as a body, we got the breakdown, man. That's it. It says, you know, you would do well to take heed. That's it. Right? Right. That's a light that shineth in a dark place. That's it. Because our Lord and Savior, he did what he had to do to go on the right hand side of the Father, loose the seals thereof, all right, and then send, all right, all right, uh, uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, the comfort, all right. He said he's going to be with us even until the ends of the earth, okay? And so this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, we're continuing to increase and, and, and learn. Just as wickedness is reaching its height, all right? So well, the elect is reaching their God, God. Yes, sir. Perfection. Yes, sir. You see? So, hey, and it's all through this, hey, the seats, the power of the Lord, man, that he's doing this work, man, and he's cultivating his people, man. Uh, so what you have? It's uh, verse 11. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Call Say, it, call it this Isaiah 62 and 11. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, 
his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of Yahweh. And thou shalt be called so out a city not in Satan. Redemption. Don't you want redemption? Don't you want to be redeemed? Listen, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Hey, and it was funny is uh, the scripture says uh, neither do they return a reward for a blameless soul. Yep. I don't see anything fucking above that. Like, right. uh, what the fuck is above that? Right. What? But even in the world, man. Man, I, man, I, in the world, I was in the world. I was sorry for myself. You know, before I really knew the truth, man, I still was sorry for my sins. And I knew I wanted to get redeemed. I knew That's I wanted right. to be uh, yeah. forgiven, right? I knew I wanted to get forgiven for them sins, man. But I, and, and you know, as my scripture says, blessed is, is he whose conscience have not condemned him, all right? You know, because you can condemn yourself, man. That's why scripture says, let, let, let not your sins weigh you down, man. That's right. Even though it's a balance, because like the, uh, yeah, the uh, King David, he said, my sins are ever before me. You know, but he didn't let them weigh him down because it's like you were saying about that first John, um, he says that, you know, the most high is, is greater than, uh, you know, our hearts. Right. Yep. Yep. Because yeah, two thirds of our people, they run and hide, man. All right. Hey, look, man, the most manly thing, they might like. You know, uh, early 90s and 80s, you had the most of manly movies. You had fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Rambo you had Sam. fucking, uh, Macho Man. What's the, what's Macho. the nigga named Rambo? Macho Man, Man. Randy Savage. Yeah. 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 You couldn't understand shit that nigga was saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. They do very good. Yeah, they do, they do. I didn't fuck with you, they do. Right? You had all these manly ass movies, but the truth of the matter is, the most manly thing you can do is fucking repent. Repentance is manly, man. Coming and just taking your fucking ass with it, man. Yeah. You know, and, and it ain't fucking easy, man. You know, we, we this this is our life, man. You know, and it's true, our life is rebuke. Every yeah. fucking other day, nigga, it's like goddamn. <laughs> nigga, you done did you did this. <laughs> like nigga, bow. Yeah. Alright? You wanna cover up? <laughs> you, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna get it worse? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, nigga. I, uh, I just my eye, please. Bow, nigga. I would have shot you in the body. <laughs> I would have shot. That nigga said I would have shot you in the body. Why you shoot me in the eye? But AB like that sometimes, man. But that's the most. That's what's manly, man. Yeah. You talk about the manosphere. These niggas ain't repenting. How they? How they in the manosphere? They ain't repenting. and this is in the NLT. It says, and have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord dis disciplines those he loves and he right. punishes each one he accepts as his child. As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Who ever heard of a child who was never disciplined by his father? If God doesn't discipline you as he does all his children, it means that you are illegitimate and are not really his children at all. Woo! Since we respected our earthly fathers who disciplined us, shouldn't we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits and live forever? For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years. It says, for our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us so that we might share in his holiness. And that's what it's all about, man. To go through that discipline, to go through that chastisement, because in the KJV, instead of discipline, it uses chastisement. That's right. chastisement is to punish for the sake of moral improvement. So if we accept the punishment, we accept the correction, we accept, accept the chastisement, all right, then we're learning. We're growing because it says, um, 
it says, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna just read it in the uh, KJV for this one. Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12 and, uh, Right, he, uh, right, Hebrews 12 and 11. It says, now no chastening, all right, no punishment for the present seem to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded a piece of the fruit of righteousness to them that are exercised thereby. And that's what it's all about, that increase, man. Matter of fact, I'll read it in the NLT too, that same verse. Hebrews 12 and 11 in the NLT. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful. <laughs> but, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. You see, we are being trained to live according to the standard. Right? right? The standard is the word of God. The standard is wisdom. The standard is Yahweh <laughs> All right, he is the standard that we sh should exalt right now. And since we are exalting that way, well then we should rehearse it. We should try to emulate it to the best of our ability. Now, of course, we're gonna come short because we're in this corrupt, this cor corruption, this sinful flesh, all right? But we fight the good fight of faith to emulate it to the best of our ability, to emulate the standard, all right, to the best of our ability curse the righteous act. So when the standard comes, he see that, well, you were about that way. You see? So that's why, again, return, 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 return to that way, which is the standard, which is our way, which is the divine superior way. And we should be rehearsing this, man. That's right. All right, because if you're about to wear this world, when the Lord come man, and you still about that way, because it talks about how our people uh, uh, stay there on. Matter of fact, let's end with that one. All right, how they stay there on, and how this going to be a, a swelling. Yeah, yeah. You see, because we all have veered off the path. All right, that was all a part of the will of the Father. That happened to us all. It was all for our learning. You see, but now. All right, it's time to return. All right, it's time to return. So go ahead. That's Isaiah 30 and 12. Yep. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because he despised the work and trust in oppression and perversity. See, our people trust in oppression and perversity. They trust in the mindsets of this world. They trust in the religions of this world. They trust in what they had been taught all their life. Because they have been taught it all day long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you see? But no, we have to be born again. We have to. Right. Yoda told you best. He said you have to unlearn what, what you, you have, have learned. learned. You see? Because we had learned all of the carnal ways of unrighteousness. That's right. All the doctrines of devils. That's right. All right? So now, instead of. Uh, 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 like one of my favorite scriptures, the scripture says uh, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, right. but in the power of God. All right, so let's go. It says, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there on. And stay there on. No, you're supposed to get off that because you see what it produces now. All right? And you see that that way is not approved of the Most High God. That's why he's coming to eradicate all these carnal ways and it having power. That's right. All right? The only way that's gonna have power and influence in the kingdom of heaven is the way of righteousness, all right? The exact directions, the exact ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's so right. you rehearse that right now? That's should right. you return to that way right now? Although it's not popular, although this way is foolishness, to those that's of this world. You see? But the ways of this world, the innumerable ways of this world, is foolishness to the Most High God. That's right. So would you rather be a fool to men or a fool to the Most High God? All right? I'll be a fool to men. 
I don't want to be a fool in the that's eyes right. of the most high that's God. Right. See? So return. Don't stay there on on the ways of this world. Return. Because if you stay there on, what, what happened? Verse 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. Whose breaking coming suddenly and at an instant. That's why it talks about the thief. All right? The Lord coming as a thief in the night. Nice. Suddenly. Because you were all in a whole different mindset and you weren't in his mindset expecting his coming, knowing of his coming, and even desiring his coming. That's right. You see, those that slated for salvation are desiring his coming. Those that slated for salvation ain't going to get caught out there like, oh, shit, the Savior here? Right, 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 right. <laughs> no. It ain't gonna be no, oh shit. That's right. Save yeah. him. Save him. You too right. late if you gotta do all that. Nah. Nah. Shit. You, you Those gone. who getting saved, when the Lord come, it was like, oh, there you hey, go. Yeah, it was me. Yes. Oh, You're doing I was looking this for you. Yes. Yes. Right, right, right. Have a cook say, stand your watch. Right, right. My, my, my. Yeah. <laughs> my ship has finally come. Come, that's right. You see? Wow, he's coming to abase those that was exalted. He's coming to all those that exalted a mindset above his mindset. You you about to be stubborn for the fire. So it's time to return. Return. All right? Any last uh, Go ahead. Hey, this is the book of Romans. Like it. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11, and that knowing and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we Woo, believe. That's, that's right. It. And that's we it. know because of the signs that was left us, the prophecies and everything singing right now. All right, it's coming to pass, man. Just right. like he said, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to return to our way, our divine superior way. All right, it's time. Okay, or get caught out there. It's on you. All right, it's true. So uh, up, uh, we're going to end it there. <laughs> Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, we're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Bashem. Rekakadash. Shalom and a Bible ball. A Bible ball. Shalom.